Hello everyone, welcome to the review of Unit 5, Do You Know Shin Chi? Now this is the new word that was created by the Korean Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism to make a distinction between the pao zai or pao chai, a Chinese pickled vegetable that mm -hmm. kind of includes kimchi in China, but it's not kimchi. And they wanted to separate that, so they made this new Chinese word to officially promote Okay, this is kimchi in mm. Chinese culture. Mm -hmm. uh, now, while this word has a very good meaning, um, you know, shin is like the spicy. You mentioned shin ramen, mm -hmm. spicy ramen, uh, and the the chi is more of like wondrous. Mm -hmm. So kimchi is a spicy wonder. You know, I, I would agree. It's pretty wondrous. Um, it is wondrous. But of course, the actual Chinese people really resented this because mm -hmm. they felt like, why are foreigners, non-Chinese, telling us how to speak our own language? True. You know, to use this word, resent. Resent? They don't tell foreigners, especially Americans, mm -hmm. how to talk about potstickers, which is a way we describe Chinese dumplings. Mm -hmm. Um, even I don't understand why we say pot sticker. Because <laughs> it sticks to the pot. <laughs> Logical, but yeah, you know, I can understand that that's not the word, you know. Mm -hmm. I would imagine if Americans called mandu something totally different, right. you know, Koreans might be upset as well. Mm -hmm. Pot sticker. Pot sticker. There is a very distinct thing about kimchi that makes it very unique to Korean culture. Mm -hmm. Not just the origin, but it carried a lot of people through difficult times. And many people think that, you know, they didn't have a proper home meal until they've had kimchi included. Mm -hmm. And it's distinctly at the heart of a lot of Korean culture and Korean identity and will Definitely. remain important. Distinctly. Distinctly. So I wanted to ask about that mm. to you. In addition to kimchi being so Korean, mm -hmm. What foods do you think are symbolic of Korean cuisine or culture? Um, the one thing that comes to mind is rice cakes or tteok Ooh, right. because it's present in so many different um, celebrations like mm. 100 days birthday of a child or their first birthday. Um, also holidays like Chuseok or the Lunar New Year have right. special kinds of rice cakes that are eaten at those times. Mm -hmm. um, and also just tteokbokki is all over <laughs> on the streets everywhere. Um, right. So it really is kind of ingrained in Korean culture and Korean tradition. So I think of rice cakes. Okay. Yeah. Um, How about uh, you? You took my example. Took <laughs> <laughs> not, not the rice cakes or tteok. Uh, uh -huh. you, you mentioned tteokbokki, which mm -hmm related to the rice cake oh. um, because I was thinking, you know, to my fiance, you mm -hmm. know, tteokbokki is like a comfort food. It's a snack usually you might have uh, late at night or mm -hmm. evening because her memories of like middle school and high school always having it. Right. Um, you know, now it's fall season and I am often reminded of things I had as a child or young during mm -hmm. the fall. Like mm -hmm. there's food connected to it. And for her, it was always like the evening thing, especially mm. winter, like maybe even, uh, you know, uh, hot dog. Uh, to me, that was my introduction to the winter in Korea. Mm -hmm. That and, you know, goguma steamed or okay. heated. Oh, you know, I'm not gonna say that's totally symbolic of Korean culture, mm. but living in the season oh, it represents it pretty well. And definitely street food, and it's outside, you know, every school or mm -hmm. on the, the stations. So right. you can see it everywhere. And it, it's yeah. really that kind of street food culture is very. Very Korean. Yeah, and I feel like in the next couple weeks, my diet's gonna take a hit because there's a hot dog right next to my station. Oh, no. <laughs> so I come out and now it's wind, like fall starting, chilly. I can smell that, oh, that sweet, delicious hot dog. All right, and that's it for our review section and we'll see you on the next unit.